here, lovely day here. It's Wednesday the 18th of uh, January in Vin, Vietnam. That's my hotel up there. Just taking a little walk round, see what it's about. If you can find a coffee. I can see this building from my hotel room and uh, so I'd take a look. There's a lady taking a dog for a walk. So I was the last customer in there. Came to one, three, two thousand dong. Now I haven't got a clue how much that is. I paid one forty. So I'll give it eight hundred tip. Christ, I must be going mad. Anyway, I'll let you know how much that was when I work it out. So we're back at the restaurant, obviously where I'm living. You don't speak a word of English, and I don't speak a word of Vietnamese. So I've just ordered chicken and noodles. Uh, let's see what I get. This is how I have to live. So I've ordered chicken and noodles. Cheers. And this is what they bought me so far. So, it's got here. Chicken, noodles, a few vegetables. Quite excited now, I actually ordered something and it's turned up. If the video's shaking, that's because I'm so bloody cold. Okay, so I'm just doing a little walk about in Vin. There's lots of crap on the floor like a horse has been down here or something. There isn't an awful lot around here. I suppose just a typical small Vietnamese town. Got the old veggies growing. In the street, beans there, lots of different leaves. say not really an awful lot to see fire going down there hmm So this is my last day here in Vin. Tomorrow, leave the hotel. This is the plan anyway. Leave the hotel about uh, 10 o'clock. 
Good morning. Then uh, walk down to the station. It's about half a mile, three quarters of a mile away. Uh, grab some food for the train. And then uh, ten hour run on the train to a place called Da Nang. Hopefully a little bit warmer. Be a couple of hundred miles down the coast. And then uh, eventually we might spend two days there, depending on what it's like. And uh and then head another 10 hours down the coast and uh, the further I go the more tropical the weather should become so uh, I won't have to wear my, won't have to wear my fleece then they look the horns over here Going, going away from me. It's almost like their hands are glued to the horn. There's somewhere down here, going to grab another coffee and then uh, back to the hotel. That's all I'm doing. We've got a place down here called B Coffee. I'll grab another coffee here. Looks all right. Oh, we'll sit down there and have a cuppa. Okay, so I'll do myself a coffee. It's a nice place. So I've just had my second cup of coffee. Seems the going rate is 15,000 uh, dong, and that equates to. Uh, about 50 pence so not too bad nice strong coffee so uh, yeah that's good now my YouTube channel got monetized more or less well dead on a month ago and uh, they keep putting the money into an account they haven't paid me anything yet. I think I have to go over £60 before they transfer anything into my bank account. So for one month, I've got £30 uh, estimated to be paid. Now, that's okay. So I'm not really in it for the money. All I, all I get money for is uh, ad, advert uh, revenue. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm getting, if I get 30 pound a month, I should pay my phone off within about 18 months. Because the phone cost me 650 pounds so 30 pound a month should have it paid off in just under two years so hopefully that's what will happen you never know might go up a bit over the next few months probably go down I don't know but uh, they're at least giving me money for it now so uh that's thanks to all you luck.
watching the adverts for me. So I've walked down as far as the train station again. Holding some bamboo up in the street. Hello. Hello. One good thing is, still dull. There's a gas. It's a bit warmer. And it's not raining. So here we go. Barbecue place, King Barbecue. And like I say, not an awful lot to video here, but uh, We've got a coffee shop here, for a big place. That's probably where I'll go in the morning uh, when I come down to the station. The station's just over there. See a lot of these little orange trees up for sale. This is just outside the station. And where I live, basically it's as far as you can see up this road, just as it goes round the bend at the top. That's where my hotel is. So it's probably a five minute walk. Hello. Cold. I'm in the little flower area again where they're all selling flowers over the road especially there's loads of them Hello Hello How are you? I'm alright thank you, you? Hey, where are from? England England? Yes Bye oh, bye As you can see, all the locals are very friendly, it's nice to see. These little trikes taking, uh, bringing the flowers in. To love their flowers. <laughs> 
think one more coffee's in order before I go back. Here's another one of these bikes. Got the trees on. There must be some occasion that uh, they have each year. Like I keep saying, I don't have a clue what it is. I think That's a happy new year thing. Maybe it is a Chinese new year. Looks a popular little restaurant in there, a lot of people. And we've got a pig going. Hello. said earlier these orange trees full of little oranges seem very popular around here and generally the place is fairly clean around here you do get uh, all this junk uh, done by the side of the road but it's collected every day so So not too bad. Have your massage here if you want. They could do better with the pavement, but uh, that seems a thing over here in uh, the Far East. Thailand, uh, Philippines, even uh, Malaysia. They don't really concentrate too much on the kerbs, but the roads seem okay. size place here so as you can see Right up the road there, you can see the umbrellas. I'm just going around the corner, and that's where my hotel is. I haven't really looked around the city too much because the weather's been so appalling. Hello. 
So what you've seen there, this little walk up here, is how far I've got to drag the case down the road tomorrow. I could get a taxi, but for a five minute walk, it's not gonna kill me. Oh, we've got a little cafe here. If they do coffee, I'm gonna have another one. I think they do, so I'm going to pop in there. So I stopped at the little coffee shop, and she said they have no coffee. <laughs> so uh, carry on. So that's more or less my walk up to my hotel. It's just around the corner here. see my hotel and that's the entrance just here going for my beers in the evening, something to eat. Hello! <laughs> train I'm on tomorrow. Similar sort of time, I think mine leaves a bit earlier in the morning.
go. So we're closing the gate. All the people here. Thank you. Bye bye. And that's it. That's the excitement. Hello! Hello. <laughs> so I'll see if we can grab a coffee around here and then uh, edit some video, pack my case for tomorrow night and that'll be me done. that'll be it for this video so if you like subscribe press the bell and also if uh, if you could press the bell button for me and watch the adverts so we've just got to the railway here we'll just go around the corner see what's uh, what's there Okay, so that's the station down there. So like I say, thank you for watching and I'll be back with some more stuff tomorrow. Thanks for watching. So it's about 12.30, early afternoon. Couldn't find another coffee, so just thought I'd have a beer. Now that over there is the hotel that I'm stopping at and right behind that sign that's going across there is my room on the fourth floor so that's where I'm staying 